Hi, I'm Ken Lee. I'm with Innovacorp. We're here to talk about fundamentals of a great pitch. Uh, we talk, we're talking about storyboard now, laying out your story and getting into some specifics of uh, what types of information that the, uh, the audience, uh, presumably an investor, would uh, want to hear about. So this is typically uh, the, uh, the, times of, uh, the times and the subject matter that, uh, that kind of fits well with, uh, with the storyboard flow. Uh, for uh, a business investor. Uh, typically, the, uh, the pitch is 20 minutes of prepared um, content and typically 40 minutes allowed for questions and answers and interactions. So uh, this, is, this is designed to give you a 20-minute uh, pitch as if it was a linear thing, which it won't happen, but you got to design it this way. So typically, uh, these are the things that would uh, make up your storyboard. There's a, there's a title, you know, the title slide, the intro, that's, that's about a minute. That gives you a chance to tell uh, the audience uh, to use 30 seconds of that to tell them who you are, what you're selling, uh, how big the market is, how much money you're going to make, what you're, what you're here for. So if it's raising money or if it's uh, here to convince you to come join the company, you know, whatever the situation is, that's what that introduction slide is. Get, get a warm and fuzzy right up, right up front. Uh, the next thing would be, you know, what's the market problem uh, and or what's the opportunity? So uh, that's typically a two-minute kind of discussion. Uh, then, uh, then after that, uh, you know, you want to talk about addressable market. You know, how big is the market? Uh, addressable market means uh, what is the market that's relevant to what you're selling or to what your core competency is? So if, uh, if the candy industry is $100 billion, well, your market is not $100 billion if you're selling uh, just uh, candies, you know, candy, nut, nut candies. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta hone it down to uh, exactly what is addressable to, to your particular uh, area. Uh, the other thing, uh, so that is two minutes. Uh, the next one, which spends a lot of time on, is what's the value proposition and what's your product? What, is, what do you claim for it to do? Uh, can you demo it for us, show us how it works and how it solves the problem? That's typically a four-minute uh, four discussion, but a very important one, obviously, for the amount of time that is allocated to that. They really want to know what's the value proposition. What's the value that your, your service or your product will deliver to me, and why should I, why should I care, right? So uh, the next thing uh, in an investment uh, pitch is about the business model. That's typically three minutes. That's that just tells uh, the investor or whoever is interested in, in, in looking at your opportunity uh, how you plan to, to run the company. How do you plan to uh, generate revenues? What's your model? Is it a free for, for service but charge for something else? Or is it a direct sale? Or is it through retail system? You know, that kind of thing. So you want to you give them a good flavor of how you're going to bring this, uh, this thing to, uh, to, to, to market. Uh, which leads to the, the next thing is the go-to-market strategy. Uh, this one gets uh, missed a lot in a lot of presentations. Uh, going to market is an important thing to consider, and it's, it's, it's a really easy one to brush off. Now, we're just going to go to trade show. We're going to advertise in certain, certain magazines. You know, that's kind of like a market strategy, but it doesn't really hold water. You really need to go down deeper in terms of, you know, we're going to partner with XYZ, or we're going to sell it through uh, this site, and we have relationships here or there, and you know, it's that kind of thing. So that's a three minute, uh, that's also an important one. So three minutes on that one, typically. Um, the ability to execute, so, and that's personified in your management team. So you have all this great opportunity, but can you really, can you really deliver? And who your management team is, or who, who you have on, or who you want to get on, is going to, uh, is going to tell that story. So that's a two minute slide, typically. Um, and then it kind of closes in, in, in terms of the call for action. You know, what's your, what's your, uh, what do you want me, what do I want you to do uh, in telling that? So if I'm, if I'm raising money, so I'd want to say I'm raising, I'm here to raise, you know, X amount of dollars, and for that I'm going to use it in this way. Uh, you all, you want to know, you want to give them the sense as you're closing um, that, uh, you know, you've, You've come from somewhere, you've come from a good place, so what's your current status? Like, where do you sit now? Are you, are you right at the beginning, you know, of a napkin? You know, you've just written it out on a napkin, or have you taken it down to a prototype stage? So give them a sense for where, you, where you've taken it. 
you might al already be in market and you just need um, some more to you know, expand, get into new markets, you know, whatever the situation is, tell them where you are. And the typical time frame is uh, 12 to 24 months. Uh, more importantly, the, the first 18 months is kind of the telltale tell sign. Uh, so you want to uh, uh, focus on that and talk about what you've achieved in terms of milestones, key milestones. Not that you know you've went to Tim Hortons or let's say that <laughs> Tim Hortons for coffee, but you know very key milestones that have elevated the company along the way, and also what key milestones are going to be going forward, which is tied to uh, how much you're asking for. So I want to I want to raise I want you to invest this much money. I'm going to take the company here, here, and here. So you want to you want to lay out what the milestones are. Um, so that's, that's kind of the body of the pitch. Then you've got the discussion backups, which are uh, also important, but uh, it's, it's, it, as far as the storyboard goes, it's kind of secondary, um, but, but also important. So I don't know if I'm schizophrenic saying that, but it's important, but not as important as the body of it. So in here you have uh, financial, very high level, keep everything high level. Uh, you want to talk about just quarterly expenses, revenues. Um, you want to have, uh, um, a slide or, or at least internally be able to talk about alternatives to your, to your, to your solution or your product. Uh, you want to definitely be talking about barrier to competitive entry, which means what is it about your, your service or your product that is not easily duplicated? So someone can't just uh, hear about your idea and then tomorrow he's off doing the same thing. So there's got to be some kind of barrier. Um, and the funds required and the use of funds. So you want to be able to, to talk about that outside of the, the main story. Uh, the stars are the ones where there is going to be a lot of interest and you're going to get a lot of questions on that. So uh, uh, that's typically where people kind of land on. And I guess based on the number of minutes to spend on that, that's, that's typically right. So <clears throat> the 10, 20, 30 rule, this is kind of an adopted thing. I don't know if you guys know Guy Kawasaki, if you haven't heard of him, Look him up and uh, Art of the Start is a great book to, to read. Um, a lot of his principles, uh, he's, he's kind of nailed the pitch down quite a bit. So rather than reinvent the wheel, a lot of people kind of refer to him and this is where this, this comes from. So the 10, 20, 30 rule means 10 slides, 20 minutes, uh, a 30 font. We're saying minimum 24 point font because uh, just to be different, I guess. <laughs> uh, in some areas, in, in some cases, um, uh, you know, it, it, it is okay to go, go uh, less than 30. So some tips. So explain yourself in the first minute. That was in, you know, as, as we talked about in the intro, that's, that's where you have that opportunity to explain fully the full 20 minute thing encapsulated in the first one minute. Uh, you want to talk about uh, three key messages and make sure that you focus on those. Uh, understand the so what. So you know, you might have developed something or there's a piece of information about uh, a market. Uh, always kind of internally uh, ask yourself, so what? Who gives a, who gives a, you know, whatever, so what? So that just forces you to uh, go that next step to make sure that it is something significant and relevant to whoever you're selling to. And know the audience, uh, we talked about that. They have different needs, uh, even inside a certain, uh, if, it's, if it's investors, even, even inside a, a venture capital uh, segment, different individuals, uh, venture capitalists, may have a different uh, way of looking at things. So you really want to know uh, the individuals as well as the group as much as possible. And if you're in there as a team, uh, typically you would let one person do the talking. Otherwise, it's kind of like a uh, musical chair kind of thing. Messages get lost or you get distracted because someone else is coming up. That's typical. It's not. Uh, it's not etched in stone, it's going to be uh, depending on, on your situation. Uh, so as far as uh, like what three key messages, so with the Corp, for instance, I talked about you know, that we help early stage companies commercialize their technologies. We talked about uh, providing assistance to 200 knowledge based companies and uh, that we've helped them raise over a hundred million dollars over uh, the past several, uh, several years in investment capital. So that's an example of what three key three key messages that you want to you uh, leave. So uh, as far as uh, setting the stage, you know, you want to keep it short. Timing is 20 minutes. Again, as I said, the, the whole 
uh, engagement may not be 20 minutes because there's questions and answers, but as far as your prepared content, 20 minutes, 10 slides if you can, uh, 15 minutes, that's, that's pretty reasonable. If, if they're really interested, you know, typically you kind of you kind of gauge, uh, you gauge what the interest is. Usually you get like a minute, uh, a, a 60 minute or one hour meeting. So work within that. So you want to get to a high level. You don't want to get down into the weeds, you know, keep it at high level. Uh, again, the pitch is to get you to the, to the due diligence stage, to get, to open the door so that you're welcomed in to talk more. Hey, let's, sounds interesting. Let's get more into the details. That's, that's all that the initial pitch is about. And, uh, you know, check with the audience, make sure that they're, they're on side with you, you know, they understand. Typically with new technologies, you get into some pretty highly techno things. Um, the audience may not always uh, get, you know, get, get the story with you, so always check with the audience and make sure that they're okay. Everything okay? 